All righty. Let's take a, a look at this. I'm going to play it out first. There's some good stuff. This is a finished piece. And there's a lot of really good stuff in there. I really like the weight in that key. I especially like the little that turn there. This, even though it has this bit of pop there, I'm not quite sure why it maybe comes down here and pops a bit quickly. But I do like that turn into this, gives it some nice weight. But that, I'm not quite sure what that sun pop is. Is it not like she is hitting it with the foot? But anyway, let's go first here. I think for this, I want to look at the fairy. Well, let's look at the cat first, just because I got more notes on the fairy. I think the cat, given that she's the focus, is fine. There's some good stuff in here. We have some movement in the tail. I just be careful. You have a big move here, while there's a big move here. So these two are competing a bit. And I'm not sure, also given the shading and everything, this kind of blends. I would give either the cat a different color or change the color of just this section if you want to make a, a meal out of the ear. The other thing that I'm uh, slightly confused about is she does look a lot at the ear. And to me, it feels like you should look here. I know there's some twitches there. And maybe that's what she's look, looking up there. Oh, there's a lot of movement in the ears, and that's why you never know what's going to happen. Attitude, but there's also something where the ear is just moving a little bit, and then she looks straight up. It's a bit too at the same time. I'm not sure, is she hearing? Does this make sound? Because if she's looking down here, then how would she see this? I don't know, there's something where, how, how this blends in, and given how this is so big in frame and clear, I think you could do something where, some really nice stuff here, eyes opening, that's all cool, but you could have like a slight moment, if she's really concerned, where it's more like a lip smack, and something like that, or maybe the eyes open just a little bit, with the eyes rolled so you don't see the pupil like fully passed out. I think I would opt more for that instead of something that A blends in and is so out of, um, not out of frame, but so close to the frame. And where, where to me, I would look at eyes more instead of the, um, instead of the ear. So uh, to me personally, I would bring the eye line down to that. Other than that, there's some good stuff. Really love that interaction here as the pushing of the head goes down, the compression in the toes there. That's great. Now let's look at her. There's something where there's a bit of a fast drop through here. Where she floats and then suddenly drops and then and then kind of stops. There are a couple of things here. Given that the cadence of those wings are always the same. I don't really see why there would be a sudden drop because those um, what's it called the the wings will keep her up enough and for contrast I mean I like the idea of the sudden drop you could just have the wings slow down and then pick up a bit right here so that the landing is softer because so right now what I'm reacting to is that the wings are doing always the same not sure why there's a sudden drop and then she starts to really slow down a lot th right through here, almost right before she hits this. And I don't think this is enough contact and pressure up this way for her to slow down as much. So to me, if you already start to speed up, I would continue until around here. Now that the foot is more on the ground, especially this comes in, that's enough to push the body up or have the body prevent from continuing to go down if that makes sense it just seems like you have sun drop and then it just flattens out very quickly without a these guys accelerating even more or the feet being planted enough on the ground to stop that drop if that makes sense i hope that makes sense it just seems like a weird sudden soft ending here soft landing 
despite no change in the wing, cadence, flap, you know, speed and everything, or massive contact through there. Other than that, if she goes down here, I think you have some good hips there for uh, compression. So around here is would it do that? That's all cool. So change through there. I think that's all good. If I be picky, I'm super picky here. If I look at what the root is doing, right through here, it goes back down this way. What? And then work goes back the other way. I just be careful with movements. And this is very subtle. It's not like it's a big deal, but um, just to point out, super picky stuff. I wouldn't go somewhere and then come back the same way. I would go somewhere and have an arc or no, or whatever you want to do, but just don't go back the same way. It might go down this way or it might go up or just up and not as far. So there's a couple of things here I would tweak just a bit. This just feels a bit too A to B, back to A. That's okay. Let's see here. And then careful here, you're lifting up already. And it's not like she does a massive foot roll, but you're already lifting and and especially through here, that's a big move without the wings actually starting. So to me, it feels like you want to go much bigger in the wings just sooner. And by sooner, I mean, you know, like three, four frames, maybe five frames. Just give it enough where they start and then you can have a bit of a pull and stretch on the chest and then the root falls with it. And this is all very subtle, but still, there's still enough believability in physics uh, with this starting and then imagine the wings will go up first and then take your chest with it and then this and then that and so on and so on. So right now it's a bit, I hate to say post to pose, but it feels like, whoa, she already goes up A without much leading of the wings and there's no real... I would love to see if this starts to be active and take her up, that it really affects the chest and takes the chest and maybe kind of bends her, you know, takes that that root and kind of curbs her over because this is pulling this way with the head dropping a little bit. I'm not saying this much. and It's, it's, it's going to be subtle, but it's a little bit more. So it's not so clean. I don't quite see. I know she's small and light, but I think it's still push the physics of that just a bit more. I think there's a bit of a harsh stop in the root. If the root goes this way, right there, there's a weird, right there. There's a bit of a one frame pop in the root. So it pops to the left a little bit. And then I think comes to stop a bit too quickly. Just a couple of frames. So by now that line to me will be here. Whoops. So that if there's so much momentum, it can kind of stop. But right now, it feels like whoop, just kind of comes to rest a bit too quickly. Careful with arms like this. You don't really want to bend your arm um, to camera like this, where the forearm and the and the upper arm are overlapping. So either you want to have your arm this way or this way, so we can see the bend in the elbow. So something that's a bit more like that is nice. Or, let me see, or anything, you know, after that. But I'd be careful with... This is already a bit problematic, again, with the color. We don't quite get to see what's going on with the wrist. Is there a wrist? This gets a bit better. There's some outlines in the fingers. But again, this just feels, if you do a squint test for a silhouette, it feels like a stump. And only now-ish it gets better. That's all okay. It's all cool. This is potentially a bit picky here, but there's good change in that wrist. But other than that, the forearms, that just feels a bit twinned. And then at the end, again, the colors just kind of folds, uh, overlaps, and kind of melds into this one piece. And I would, I would keep that, this hand in this type of silhouette where it's away from the thigh. And you can always cut here and then it's okay. But right before that, I wouldn't overlap as much. It kind of all folds into this area. And even then here, you could for offsets, have this arm here and then that, that hand here. It's a bit closer to the chest to so have that 
that hand has a color silhouette in front of that t-shirt. You know, it's like a t-shirt, but you know what I mean? Picky stuff, but I think that could be kind of neat. And then when you do stuff like this here, when the foot lands, then it just feels like a foot roll in one axis down, but you can go down this way a bit since the legs are spread. So there's a bit of an outside pressure and, and push this way. As the foot rolls down, it could kind of pivot off the toes and go this way. Just a tiny bit, just some polish stuff. Speaking of polish, this leg here hits a bit of a harsh pose right there. And boom, just kind of stops versus easing in into that. And by now, maybe that leg will be here, that line instead of here, over here. Even though this, yeah. Yeah, just because it's just kind of hits a bit of a harsh spot there. I'm looking at her head, how zippy that is up. It's okay. You could still go maybe only this high if you lower the eye line to look at, her, at the cat's eyes. That's okay. I think that's it let me just see here so shoulders are always up because the arms are always up maybe through here you could start lowering the shoulders a bit arms go down and then when you go oh, where she's a bit more hope oh, let's see what's going on then you can bring the the shoulders up a little bit with the head so because everything gets a bit more tense as she's going up there with her head Watch out, her knees. There's something in here. See that knee kind of pops over to the left. One frame. And then stays put down and then pops to the left again. This is okay there. Just watch out the spacing stuff there. I think what bugs me about this moment is that I see a lot of... A, a lot of movement out of this joint, head going up. I don't see much in the chest being affected by that head move. And then the speed at which the head goes up is just a bit too... It's just this moment of right through there. It's kind of a pin on the head here where it kind of... It's as if it's pivoting off of here. Then it gets a bit better. It's just this weird moment of just a sticky... Sticky frame through there. And I think if you go and she has a bit of a tense moment, then you could also kind of tense up the, uh, tighten up the fingers. Just a bit, especially on this one for silhouette. So that she goes like this, like that. Her arms out is a bit more tense. Maybe closed fingers a bit more. Then they open up because of the flying. And then, <gasps> then through that, she would bring up that hand and tense fingers. Just a bit more. All right. I think that's it. I can noodle this to death. But I think those are the things that kind of struck me. For this shot, and that's looking at this. The biggest thing for this. Got a couple of comments there. Um, a, as you go down here don't forget to put some foot roll in there it just feels it's starting to collapse a bit much there it also gives it that very sticky ik foot and leg feel but the main thing is that the pulling here i'm not quite buying just because the legs are pointed this way and she's leaning so far forward i would love i mean even if maybe one foot is here with the foot roll you can have that but then the other leg would have an angle so that the uh, the shin is pointed this way. And that way it would make more sense for the weight to be on this foot and that can, which can push her this way. Right now, I'm not quite buying how she has a lot of force, especially now with bringing that foot back. I buy it more once you're here. This could work because she is swinging herself back. But now I'm buying it because now these are pointed this way and she can really push down on the legs and push back for that pull. So what struck me is just this, this, and this from the from a body mechanics and physical or physicality point of view 
if that makes sense. I'm not quite buying that she can pull this that hard. It's going to be a little bit. I think she can push down and then her body up so that she can raise the key. But a lot of pulling this way, I don't think it's going to be that much, you know, that possible. So that's fine with the foot roll, but then I will bring the other leg and bring forward. It's going to be a bit tricky with the overlap and the key, so the key would have to kind of peek out there. But I would have that. And then when she does this, then you can adjust both both legs into that, which I don't think is that works. Because then she also uses <clears throat> the wings potentially to help her go back and everything. So it's just this section through here that I'm not quite buying. Then watch out, there's a lot of pulling, a lot of bending in those arms, but then nothing in the wrist. Meaning that if this goes, the forearm goes from here down to here, it would be some slight adjustment in this area of the wrist while the fingers can stay locked. But the, the wrists need to have some sort of, need to be affected by that rotation and movement of, of their arm, especially through here. If you do all of this here, it feels like it's a cut. So you get your typical IK hands that don't move. So they're just constrained there. Especially when she does her all this, then I would start bringing up that thumb and those fingers curling in. So it's a lot more tense gripping. This is cool. I like the changes in the fingers through here. Then, especially here, as she goes through there, I would keep that fairly loose, the grip, so that when you go into here, you have somewhere to go and really tighten up that grip and change your finger poses. There's a weird acceleration again. If I look at this part, the chest area going down, whoo, right there, over one frame, right there, the, the spacing is fairly odd. I think I can even track that in the nose. Hold on, let's take those drawings out. Right there. You can see here. I mean, there's a little bit of an acceleration you can see in the spacing, but then here, that's just a big one, and then it's suddenly small. So from that big to suddenly that small, that just feels like a weird pop. It's not too bad. I think I see a little bit of an arc up. It's kind of looking that it's not too straight. But then watch out, you're going. This way, stop. It feels like you're going back the same way, although you are starting to go up, which is good. But then watch how you're going up and then back down this way. So I would try to go this way and then up and then something like that. I'm exaggerating the curves here, but you want to go back this way, right? And then not really go back the same way. Then as you go up, you don't want to just go up and down. You want to have a little bit of an arc, just a bit. So it, it feels just a bit linear through here beep, 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 and also just a bit fast I get that this goes up because of the leg but then it comes down a bit too quickly like if there's a bit more hang time and then drop and then I buy a bit I mean you know two three frames but it just will feel just a bit differently and then watch out for this this is moment of the head and then chest just this area being one big piece you go down this is one big piece then you go back here, only through here-ish. Starts around here, but you have a little bit of head rotation down. But it just feels like this is one big unit going down. And you can always go like this, where she's a bit tilted towards us or away from us. And then as you go through here, then she straightens into this. So imagine from the front view, the head would do a bit of a sideways tilt. And right now it feels like everything is always straight. So a little bit of complexity and, and breaking this up a bit more. So head, chest, and uh, lower chest and root area are a bit more, it's a disconnected, but just a bit more broken up. You can experiment with a bit more drag and then overlap in the head. But I don't know, you, want, you don't want it to be too loose just to put in drag overlap, but I think you might get away better with that sideways tilt going back into here what are our shoulders doing it's not too bad it's cool i do like that whole that's all cool what the body's doing here whoop ba -bum. 
that just feels really nice. The timing of how this goes up and then drops, how it reacts to the steps. And watch out. The body drops and then flattens out before there is pressure on that leg. So only by now I will bring that root up. So what I would do here, you can see how this goes down, down, down. But during this up until here, I will continue to go down. It feels like you're doing this versus going down. Oh, and now it goes up because this is pushing up. So it's just flattening a bit too soon. There's no physically. It's just not possible doing all of this for that root to suddenly stop. You might argue, well, her wings, but her wings are not flapping. So I'm not buying that there. So watch out for that. Same thing here. You go up and then down a bit too soon. No, I think that's okay there. Maybe a bit fast. Cutting out a bit soon, but I would personally delay the roots going down by two frames. I know this is super picky, but I still want it to be too tied to the up and down of the legs. Hold on, let's go back here. So you have the ponytail animated. Maybe that's what I'm reacting to as well. But there's such a big drop here that there's no more drag and overlap in that tail. Especially through here, if you do this and you stop at this point, the ponytail will be here. Because I do see some animation there. So it is posable. So I'll just watch out for that secondary movement there. But I like your high frequency thing there. What's sorry, there's something popping there. Interesting. I didn't know this player was able to do that. Anyway, continuing here. Yeah, the rest is cute. I really liked it. Again, just little tiny tweaks there, but other than that, that's a really nice moment there. Again, that pop in the key is a bit weird, but I like how it drops. And I think as you drop it here, it starts to lock. So as you do this rotation, I would rotate back a tiny bit. So it kind of pivots and goes side to side. And right now it feels like you're going and then the animation stops with all that movement through there. Nothing going on there. So watch out for that. Paw stuff is cool. A little bit of travel with the camera is nice. Yeah, I think that's it. Lots of picky notes. I mean, it's a great shot. You know, the greater gets, the pickier the notes. So, yeah, good stuff. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.